Back when I started YouTube, I was going to make a video about subs versus dubs and then realized how absolutely terrible of an idea that was. And then somebody else came along and did it. Alright kitties, who wants to watch some anime? <laughs> but I only have the dubbed versions. Kill yourself! I'm not the funniest person I've ever known, but holy shit, that was awful. And two, that's a weird straw man. I don't think people tell you to kill yourself nowadays. I think they just tell you to uh, tie yourself to a concrete block and then dive into the nearest river. Jokes on them, I'm, I'm more dead inside than my fucking YouTube channel. You and me both, dude. Dubbed anime, one of the most fucking hated things in this godforsaken community. Anime was a fucking mistake. The f community was an even bigger mistake. I would ask how, but I already know where this video goes, so I'll just let you explain it. I don't know what it is with it's the day and hating dubbed anime. You speak English just because you downloaded Rosetta Stone does not mean you actually know what they're saying. Yeah, and I don't speak Spanish, but when I go to the Taco Bell and I order something like a cheesy gordita crunch, how do I know that gordita isn't something completely different? That's fucking stupid and lazy. But anime is just weird. It's one of those things where people prefer the original audio of it being Japanese in a language that's extremely difficult for them to grasp because of how utterly retarded it is compared to how we learned English. Hey, whoa, you better call it done on that R word there. We're woke in the year 2020, so you kind of can't use that anymore. But also, how is it much more difficult? In some places, Japanese is easier to learn if you're from Japan and it's probably easier to learn English if you're here in America. And that's not to say that you can't learn either of those languages. There are some people that are just very proficient, but that's a weird statement to make. Some people don't have to know what Japanese is or to understand it to know exactly what's happening. That's why it gets subtitled by people that can actually speak the language. Japanese is one of those weird languages where they love to make fun of how weird their languages are. Like if you actually watch anime, the amount of language based humor in it is ridiculous because words sound like other words like kami is the word for God and tissue paper, or toilet paper or something like that. It's really dumb or at least it's dumb to people who don't speak Japanese, which would be myself and the vast majority of weeaboos out there who enjoy the content. Did you guys know that you have to know Japanese in order to enjoy the content that's put out by Japan? Uh, yeah, me either. I, I didn't know that. I don't know where I was going to go with this, but that's that's actually very wheelchair symbol. I think that you need to understand that people don't have to know the language to understand or like something. And some weebs actually do know Japanese. And who the hell are you to say that they don't? Additionally, I think it's important to note that in almost any language, you can still mess up some words. That's why sometimes there's a difference between there, there, and they are. It's something that people commonly that know English confuse all the time. So making this about, well, the Japanese are the only ones that do it, or at least in this particular case, prominent, that's fucking stupid. So whenever I see stuff like the dubbed versions that are localized, etc., I can understand it a little bit better. Plus, I understand how they're inflecting. Look, language is complex. There's a lot of nuances to it. The way that you inflect certain words could change the very meaning of the word kiss my ass wow that was a weird and awful example of what you're trying to say but also a bullet sounds the same in every language it's a more playful and if i say it harsher then you realize that i'm telling you that you're probably a piece of shit there's a famous phrase out there and it's I'm not saying she stole all my money. The different ways you can inflect that, stressing different words, changes the complete meaning of it, giving it all new different implications as to what you're really saying. While that may be true to an extent, that's not why you're trying to make this point. Usually when you're talking about how Japanese is different from English, what happens is they mix up a word. And that's what happens in most anime where someone is translating something or if they are even Japanese themselves, they'll mispronounce a word, or they just won't understand what it means. That's just kind of a universal thing. I don't see why bringing this up to own the weebs is even an argument. 
The same is for almost every single language out there, including Japanese. So when you're listening to a subbed version of the show, or rather you're listening to the Japanese audio with English subtitles, you're missing out on a lot of contacts and subtle nuances that can't accurately tell you if this voice actor is doing their job properly. The Japanese don't take voice acting very lightly, which is why they usually start up with recruitment agencies and then they find voice actors that have either went through the courses of being a voice actor or a voice actress and they make sure that they have a proven demo track with a, a track record, if you will. And that's why they do their job so good is because they know and they understand all the nuances of Japanese speaking. But then if you're abroad and you want to go to Japan for voice acting, then it's kind of recommended, if not almost required, to prove yourself here first, i.e. going through theater courses or even just starting out in a theater troupe. So that way you can get the feel of acting because voice acting, regardless, is still acting. I would recommend reading this website here that I've provided. You can only basically get when they're angry and when they're sad because that's pretty universal. Even then, the subtitles don't really convey the same emotion that normal dubbed audio would because the subtitles are often wrong, especially since the majority of you guys are pirates who don't support the official release. How dare you, you heathens. This is a sin greater than murder. Oh boy, there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, your sarcasm is just absolutely fucking terrible. And also, it doesn't matter if we're pirates or not. Usually, if you're in the case of horrible subs, those are straight from Crunchyroll, which are usually translated by professional translators themselves. And I'm not to say that, you know, people can't do that themselves when they obviously can, but I think I would probably trust their ability to translate something when no one else will, especially if they know the language. Now, in the case of understanding how things sound and how they are universal, I mean, sure, like I said, a bullet sounds the same in every language, but conveying emotion and being able to pick up on what the characters are doing, that's a completely separate issue. In some cases, the English dub of certain anime like Azumanga Daioh or even Full Metal Alchemist, for example, or even the greatest known, Cowboy Bebop, all do an excellent job of conveying emotion and getting all of the notes down. They know exactly how to make the nuance, and I'm not saying that because I like all three of those shows in English, but those are the ones that people point to whenever they want to talk about how good an English dub can be. Now, if we really want to argue about subs versus dubs, there are some times that the dubs are just absolutely terrible. They're abhorrent, if, uh, if lack of a better word isn't even a thing. But the Japanese, for some reason, is just generally the superior one. Because it's typically something that we don't hear, so it's something that's a little bit new and fresh. Now, that's not to say that the Japanese don't think the Japanese dub sounds awful themselves. They probably think that the English is more refreshing because they don't get to hear English that often. The subtitles are there to give you the spirit of what they're trying to say. They can't actually capture the beauty of the Japanese language in its true form. And by that, I mean the amount of grunting that's actually done in the language for some reason translate to a myriad of sentences. Not, not sure why that is. I hope that you never, ever have to watch a foreign film. And even if you do, I expect that you at least have the courtesy to not look at the screen at the bottom the entire time and can actually look at the actors. That aside, the reason why a lot of people have the stigma of dubbed anime is pretty much just elitism. You know, I was really hoping that this video wouldn't have its super bad point. But like most videos, including mine, there's always that one spot where it just gets really fucking stupid. And I think we found it. A lot of people like to feel like special little snowflakes. They, they like to feel like they're better and superior than other people, but because they have no actual fucking talents of their own, the easiest way to get that dopamine high is to make sure that everyone else knows that they're shit, that they're less than you. And a really cheap way of doing that is saying, you you listen to the dub anime? You, you watch My Hero Academia? I watch Boko no Hero Academia. As if... Possessing the basic human function of being able to fucking read is a talent. You know, something that's carried over from Twitter.com is that people like to create a person that does not exist and they proceed to get mad at them. That's kind of what you're doing. 
And if that ever does happen, then we never take those people's opinions into any type of high regard, typically because they don't have any versatility when it comes to watching their favorite animangos. If anything, people are very open to an English dub, they just don't want it to sound fucking terrible and lazy. And that's not because of nuance, it's because, I mean, you get to hear these people with um, very questionable talents, and that's not to say that every one of them are bad, but they gotta do a little bit more acting than they're currently doing. Now, if we're talking about elitism, I wouldn't say it's necessarily that either. I think that people have a preference, and that's all it really boils down to. And so when you're making up these people in your head, and they're saying that they don't like English, that's because they prefer the Japanese. Maybe they started out watching English and they're just like, uh, eh, the Japanese sounds a little bit better. But instead, here you are saying that they uh, are just fucking stupid people. I guess that's the thing that you do. Congratulations! You, you know how to read! You passed, like, middle school! Go ahead and spell the word antithesis for me. I don't think that you can. I'm not saying you're wrong for liking and watching the subbed version when the dubbed version is out in your language. I'm just saying you're probably an asshole. You know, even if I was advocating for you in the first part, you definitely aren't making a very strong case for me to like you in this next part. Most of us grew up watching Toonami and watching shows like Cyborg 009, Immortal Grand Prix, Ghost in the Shell, Yu Yu Hakusho, not you, Big O. Cowboy Bebop, no, seriously, fuck off, not you, and a show about checkers, because Toonami was literally the Netflix of their day, if it was an anime, goddammit, they were giving it a contract to be aired in America. So we all just pretty much hate exactly where we came from. What if you were a kid growing up in that era and you didn't have cable TV? Did you forget where you came from then? Or what if you weren't born then? Do those people, do they not get a pass either? That sounds like a little bit of elitism, buddy. And I think that is literally the definition of bad and bougie. That song that that rap group did. I don't really listen to the devil's music. There's probably more culture in that one song than there is in one single video on your channel. And and now I'm going to be an asshole to you. That's That's my way of bullying you. The vast majority of anime that come over here though nowadays are showing anime. They're fighters, because generic fighting animes are guaranteed to at least do base numbers, and anything else was probably not going to be watched anyways. Man, I really love that action anime called Your Lion April. Man, the fight scenes in fucking Withering with You are fucking grade A. Are you actually serious right now? Did you forget that those things actually exist? Let's face it, most people aren't actually watching dubbed anime that comes out two, three, six months after the subbed version. No one's actually paying for this. They only watched it back in the day for the convenience of it coming on the TV and, and because they probably didn't know how to pirate. That or dial-up internet was still a standard in most households in the US. Y you can look up these numbers. I, I think you can look up when high-speed internet connectivity became a thing. But also, when peer-to-peer uh, -peer wasn't as big, it wasn't really about not knowing how to, it was having an outlet to do so. Also, what does pirates have to do with any of this? So no company is going to put down like this large amount of money for this A-list crew for a show that's not going to be watched. What if I told you that in the near future, people would watch a show called Neo Yokio with a bunch of high-paid celebrities from Hollywood? and it would not do good at all, and that they would make a Christmas special that no one watched either. I know, the results may shock you that this actually happened, but, I mean, this video's kind of old, but it ain't that fucking old. Anime is just a commercial. It's there to make you buy toys and dokumakuras and all kinds of weird f***ing porn. There is so much porn for Japanese animes, all of which is proof that two bombs clearly was not enough. Ouch, don't fucking cut yourself on all that fucking edge that you're throwing out there. So if you're thinking it's just to be a commercial, why am I gonna spend $400,000 on it when I'm only going to make 200000 back? Firstly, I would just like to go ahead and say I didn't know that this video was this long and this fucking stupid. But also, when did you become a person that worked in the industry? Did you for some reason know that they spent $400,000 on a show and that they were only going to make $200,000? I don't think you know how money is made for Japanese companies. 
If anything, I would say that the anime industry is booming as it's been seeing an increase due to streaming services rather than the physical home media that it once used to dominate. Well, let's fire everyone to competence and hire a bunch of rookies who have literally zero work experience. What the janitor's seeing overnight, well, he can be a filler voice. And that's why a lot of people think anime is shit when it's dubbed, because their niche little animes that they like, they're, they're not going to get any funding. Okay, this is going to be a volcanic take for me, probably, but I feel like anime that is niche, that doesn't have a voice dub yet, should not get one. Because we've clearly seen what the Western anime dub industry has done. They've taken things that people like and then they ruin them with, uh, uh, we'll just say additives that aren't in the original context. And that's why I personally think that shows like Symphogear, for example, that don't have an English dub, don't need one. Because it doesn't need one. It's perfectly fine the way that it is. But if you look at those big ol' showin' animes, usually they're pretty damn good. I don't think anyone's ever complained about the voice acting in Dragon Ball Z, but just the animation. Then, my god, do you have a lot to learn? Because a lot of people think that the English dub for Dragon Ball Z is probably... it's better. But I will have you know that there used to be another version that's not by Funimation, and it was actually not so great. And that's why when Funimation got a hold of it, they made it better. So yeah, people have complained about the voice acting in that show as well as they did in Evangelion. So you really don't know what you're talking about, do you? You poor sweet boy. Oh my god, this is terrible. There, There is no excuse for this. This is an abomination. We also for some reason give a pass if the kid started on YouTube. Team 4 Star does a lot of commercial stuff. No, no one's saying their shit. No one calls a lot of abridged voice actor shit. I don't understand why. Is it just because that they started on YouTube? Does the amount of zeros in someone's bank account make them shit or not? Are you all communists? Is that why you guys hate them? That's pretty dumb and on. How much money a voice actor or a celebrity makes doesn't mean that they're good and it doesn't mean that they're bad either. That's a piss poor argument. Now I will say that if they just make something that's genuinely terrible, then that's that's what we can base it off of. But what does this have to do with anything? Oh, because it's it's an abridged thing, and I guess we hate abridgers now. But really, I think it's just the elitism. But hey, that's just my opinion. My objective, correct, and always truthful opinion. There are some days that I wake up and I get out of bed and I wonder, what's the worst video I can find? And I think I might have found it for at least today anyways. But don't worry, there'll be plenty more. They, they always come back. And let me know in the comments section if you're smart or if you're dumb. As always, I love your faces. So I hope you at least like my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't worry, I'll spare you the cataract surgery that you'll have to get after witnessing this weird video that has more Senran Kagura gameplay. Which is weird because the people that complain about anime the most usually play Senran Kagura and they put the gameplay footage here. But I guess that's I guess that's just how it is. I mean, there's not really much to say here other than if you prefer watching shows in English, no one's going to shit on you. If you're watching shows in Japanese dubs or Japanese subs, if you will, no one's going to shit on you either. I don't know where he gets this elitism thing from because it doesn't exist. If you prefer something, then just be happy with what you prefer. And if you're trying to make your opinion objective, then like this this guy, you know, if, uh, funny sarcasm, then yeah, you probably need a sitting down. But there's not really too much else to add. I've provided links to all of the things that I've talked about in today's video, and I don't want to make a whole new plug segment. So I'll just simply, you know, tell you guys that there's links in the description. And uh, big ups to all of the patrons, the patron people. And I will see you guys in another video.